Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And as you can see here, we are starting out the new season ranked 47, 84 overall, 84 offense, 83 defense. Let's just look who's ranked above us here. Minnesota, remember they had that big offseason recruiting top 15. So they're above us. UCLA, who we face off against this season, they're above us as well. Wisconsin's at 29, as you can see. Uh, Northwestern is ranked number 20 in the nation. Remember, they went to the conference championship last year. They did lose that game. Uh, now let's keep going up here. Uh, looking at Penn State at number 10. Florida right above them. We get our rematch. They are 97 overall. So that's going to be a tough matchup for us. Even though we just played them in the bowl game. Lost by a touchdown. Uh, Ohio State at 7. And look at Bama. They are ranked number 4 in the nation. 99 everything. But look at Washington. They're ranked 99 everything. So they're going to be a force to reckon with for sure. And Oklahoma is at number one. So let's just look at preseason All-Americans. So as you can see at quarterback, Lamar Jackson decided to come back for his senior season. So did Bo Scarborough. Let's look at who else did uh, that are big names here as we scroll down. Look who is here at the safety positions. Marcelino Ball and Jonathan Crawford, both here, the senior and the junior. First team and Donovan Hale is going to round out the first team All-American as a kick returner. Let's just see if we have anybody on the second team. Uh, no, we do not. So let's look at the Big Ten here. So first team Big Ten. Devontae Williams, they already know they expect him to have another big year. The junior Saquon Barkley returned for his senior season as well. Uh, let's just see if we have any more first teamers. So we have Donovan Hale and then the two safeties. Let's look at second team here. So we do have our left tackle, Kronk, and our left guard, Martin, as well. And then Raekwon Jones at the right outside linebacker. That's going to be it for that. Uh, do they have a All-American? Let's see. Do they have freshmen or no? No, they don't. So I, what I want to do in this episode, I want to take a look at our impact freshmen coming into this season. Let's see who's going to make a difference. Let's check them out. So let's start with the 6'3 receiver, our top recruit, our second top recruit, actually second best, Michael Wilson, 6'3", 215. He's going to come in right away, starting at the second wide receiver spot opposite of Simi Cobbs, our number one receiver coming to this, into this season, and then Timian also in the slot. But this guy is a no glitz no glamour no nonsense player he's wearing number 11 because his favorite player was larry fitzgerald and he knows he doesn't have the speed like larry did larry didn't have wasn't fast but he just went up and got it i mean he got plays done when you needed him even though he didn't have the speed so he doesn't like to wear a lot of gear here he just has the gloves uh no fancy shoes he wants to just be a football player. That's what this guy is going to be. And right coming into the season, he's going to be looking to be a red zone threat and using that height to an advantage, going up, catching in traffic, just like his idol Larry Fitzgerald did. And he's looking forward to playing with his teammates. Joe Richard, the 6'3", 236-pound top recruit coming into Indiana at the tight end position, looking to just wreak havoc in the Big Ten as a tight end. Remember, we run the spread offense, but he says, no, never mind that. I'm trying to get in as a receiver in those formations. I'm trying to get the ball and move the ball up the field while using my size to block for everybody else. So he's gonna come in, man, as a very, very ch big chip on his shoulder because 
the Minnesota Golden Gophers passed up on him. He wanted to initially go there, but once he saw the future in Indiana, he decided to come to the Hoosier football program and really make a difference. And you know what? He is going to be a clone of Gronk himself. He's going to have a long, uh, big left sleeve, and he's going to have a big elbow pad on him as well. So he's going to be looking to make plays for this Hoosier offense, and he's going to start a new era. He is our biggest recruit coming into Indiana to start this dynasty. So he's going to be looking to have a huge season for the Hoosiers. Nate Owens out of Beach Grove, Indiana comes into this season kind of as a go out and get it player because he doesn't have the great athleticism as you can see here 75 speed 86 excel he's not a very great athlete but he wins his one-on-one -on -one battles with grit with effort and he's going to be looking to come in here at the left outside linebacker position the only starting freshman at the linebacker or defensive line position and he's going to come in here and wreak havoc. He wears Ray Lewis's number, number 52. So he's looking to come in right away, make plays for the defense. A former boxer in high school, Marcus Rutledge, comes into this season as the big man on campus. He's been causing a little bit of a ruckus in training camp. And the reason is because he knows he's good. He knows he's good. He knows the other players on the offense in practice. He's getting into it every week. He knows how good he can be. He knows how good he is as a freshman. So he wears tape on his hands because he wants to be known as a scrapper, as a fighter on this Indiana Hoosiers team. And right away, he is coming in as the starting cornerback opposite of Andre Brown and he's looking to lead the NCAA in picks according to the local newspaper so watch out for this exciting freshman he's looking to make waves this year last but certainly not least Calvin McDuffie the under recruited athlete he comes in listed as a cornerback but in high school he played quarterback he played halfback he played defense he played every position that the coach needed him he even kicked a field goal once in a high school game he's coming in as the fastest guy on the team and he's looking to return kicks he's gonna come in being the number four cornerback on the depth chart but who knows down the road he can eventually switch to running back because he's got ball carrier skills as well but he's gonna come in and he took donovan hale's spot at the kickoff and punt returner position because he knows he's got that speed he's got big play ability as a freshman so calvin mcduffie number 30 look out for him on the field because he's going to be looking to take it to the house anytime he touches the ball so looking at how we're projected to finish in the big 10 we're projected to finish fourth in our division in our conference here and that's kind of disappointing they're probably underestimating us a little bit but they do have us behind the three powerhouses of ohio state penn state and michigan and on the other side of our conference they have northwestern last year they didn't even have them in the top three this year they have them top on their side of the conference northwestern then wisconsin then iowa so just like that man that's gonna wrap up this season preview let's just look quick at the heisman watch remember lamar jackson won it last year and look who's favorited to win it this year lamar jackson did not turn pro surprisingly he stays for his senior season sam darnold stays for another season he's 99 overall justice hill the 96 overall running back carry on johnson the running back out of auburn and bo scarborough the power back out of alabama rounding out the top five 
hit subscribe hit that like button because we're coming with some action next week florida in the rematch of our bowl game let's get it